The GROW Observatory is a citizen's observatory that is monitoring soil condition across Europe. In GROW, we've demonstrated a model of citizen-based climate action that links citizens to science, data and policy at a continental scale. Our aim is to empower local communities to collaborate in order to generate and share vital soil data. And in this way, we hope to create new knowledge for better soil management and improving growing practices as a response to a change in climate. GROW focuses on monitoring soil moisture, a key variable for understanding and forecasting climate events such as flood, drought and wildfire. Citizens come together to use sensors and other devices such as their mobile phones to gather observations around the environment and use that data in order to make practice at a local level, at a community level, but also for science. That's what attracted me first. It's kind of like you go to the doctor, they take your pulse, they take your temperature, they take your blood pressure, they, you have sensors in different parts of the body. And I think that we have to look at our farms the same way. There are 24 GROW communities across 12 European countries who have deployed high-density clusters of low-cost sensors across a range of climatic zones. So we've developed an educational resource through massive open online courses or MOOCs that train people to become citizen scientists. We have uh, representatives from Portugal, from Luxembourg, from Scotland, from Ireland, from Austria, from Greece. It's so exciting to meet the other community champions and to exchange about challenges and, and, and also about solutions they have and we can even share our materials and, and it's a great help for me, I think, in the future. The most exciting thing about having a Grow Place in Ireland is that we're able to engage with citizens and we're able to educate them about their soil. The Copernicus Sentinel-1 satellites gather remote data on a 250 km wide section of the Earth's surface as they pass overhead every few days. If you're a farmer, you might rely on the satellite information. It's the best image you have of the land on the ground. But of course, what you don't know is whether or not that data is accurate. By collecting thousands of soil moisture measurements on the ground, GROW will contribute to Earth observation and remote sensing. What we can do is then taking the soil moisture that is estimated by satellite and taking the measurements recorded from your sensors and then compare. This is called ground truthing, which is vital to improve the quality of climate forecasts and to give users of this information such as farmers and policymakers, greater confidence and trust in its accuracy. Citizens on the Changing Climate Mission can collect soil data using a number of tools. Firstly, they need their soil sensor. Then there are a couple of different mobile apps that they need. Uh, they need the Flower Power app. And then there is the Grow Observatory app with which you collect the land survey data, the land features around the sensor. Having a soil sensor in your garden makes possible for you to monitor all the changes in time in soil properties. For example, you can monitor all the changes you make with different growing practices. Here the soil and the landscape is so much linked to each other. So if you would like to explain the area, the soil moisture, uh, it's a difficult job. Uh, if you put a sensor to the top, then uh, you will measure the soil-defined moisture content. The upper part of the slope will have different soil moisture values than your lower part. So if you put one sensor to the top and one sensor to the bottom, and then you start interpolating uh, the data in between the two observation points, that you start estimating the real value for all the points of your garden. In GROW, we close the loop from scoping critical issues to collecting data to creating information and insights and applying that to empower change on the ground. Giving standardised, interpreted 
and accuracy control data to community growing. We also have some considerations about what services could we provide to other specialist users of data. We developed a dynamic soil moisture map which is an online tool that farmers and policymakers and local communities can use to investigate the soil moisture in their area. The dynamic soil moisture map has been visualised by data artist Moritz Steffener. This is designed to inform growers and scientists how variable the land is, which areas can retain more water for a longer period, how large is the area within my land that needs to be irrigated. Another grow tool is the Water Planner that uses historic weather data and algorithms to enable growers to predict and plan how much water they will need for their plot over a year on a monthly basis. This online tool arms people with knowledge that will give them confidence to be able to grow their own food more successfully. Grow is empowering more people to learn about growing edible crops in ways that regenerate soils. I think a lot of people struggle with soil, they don't really understand it. So to actually um, work with soil and to learn more about it is going to be massive for us. We've got a series of free online courses where people can learn about ways of food growing that can actually regenerate soils and replenish ecosystems. I learned a great deal about how the soil over time was built, so historically how a soil is building, and what we can do to improve it. The app is a method to, to support your growing practices and help you decide when to plant and when you can harvest one of 150 plants within the database. We have an online community of growers that are helping us co-produce our calendars and these planting and harvesting dates that we are getting from local growers are shared in the app. So you can see what our advice is using the calendars but also what growers in your location are actually doing. We help our communities tell stories through blogs, videos and podcasts as well as talking to each other on the Grow Forum. This helps them share knowledge, participate in Grow and improve their growing practices. In Grow, we're working with artists to illuminate these concepts to new audiences and to stimulate innovative ideas. Artists Kasia Molga and Scanner turn the Grow Sensor Network into an orchestra. They created an artistic representation of soil data from the cluster of grow sensors closest to the viewer, with a new data portrait of soil properties generated each time the Sentinel-1 satellite passes overhead. We created a networked software artwork which inhabited over 1,000 computers and first became active on the first day of spring of 2019. The artwork surprised participants from time to time with audiovisual transmissions, which were every time different. The sound was composed with hundreds of one second long audio files, each responding to various values of incoming data, be it soil moisture, temperature, season or land characteristics. Similarly, all shapes, density of the visual noise, figures and movements were formed unique to the data. This work is a manifestation of connection between the satellite, sensors, growers and all of us humans being sustained by the land. Grow has contributed to real change on the ground. In El Hierro, on the Canary Islands, two banana farmers have reduced their use of water for irrigation by 30% by collecting and using grow sensor data. Another main use for the soil moisture maps uh, can be in policy making. So policy makers can use those maps to investigate larger areas, uh, to see how their region uh, develops on a larger scale. So for them it's, uh, it's a useful tool to look at the bigger picture of how soil moisture uh, develops and give uh, indication on wildfire risk, uh, flood risk uh, or flood prevention. Eight out of ten grow communities say they intend to continue collecting and making use of grow data beyond the end of the funded project. I'm very inspired to inspire uh, others on citizen science. Grow Observatory brings together 
uh, the most important things in achieving uh, uh, carbon neutrality and averting the climate catastrophe, that is uh, citizens united behind science. There's a wealth of knowledge out there and there's an, ab an absolute desire and a determination to improve things, to get the message out across Europe and to get more people recruited to understand the real issues behind the climate change and what improvements we as growers and um, farmers can make in our soil. We've seen in GROW how a citizen's observatory can help us as we work towards the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals by building community, capacity and capabilities for action on climate, food and life on land.